Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Sagittarius for November of 2020. Let's see what's going on for you guys this month. If you haven't already, um, please hit the subscribe button. I do come live on Tuesday nights with different topics. Uh, you can check those out as well. And also I have a brand new course that I just launched with early bird pricing right now called Unleash Your Divine Self and Master and Manifest Your Abundance. So if you're interested in really getting to know your higher self and connecting to her um, and quantum leaping your journey here in this world, manifesting what you want out of life, you can check that out in the description box and in the comments below. And like I said, early bird pricing is going to end on November 1st, so make sure you check that out before then. All right, let's see what's happening for you here. We've got the unknown card as the overall energy here. So definitely things might be a little bit confusing this week or this month. Very Because I can't even speak if you can see that. I'm saying all the wrong words. So it could be like that this month for you where it's like you don't really know what's going on. I feel like it's not in a very bad energy though. It's kind of like you're just not here. So this might be like you're more like connecting to your intuition or just being in the spiritual realm. You might be doing a lot of meditation, hypnosis, uh, energy healing, all those types of things. Um, yeah, they're they're really making me feel like you're you're up up in space, if that makes sense. So you might just be spaced out, maybe just tired of this year. <laughs> We're ready for this year to be over, but definitely a little bit of the unknown overall for the month. Okay. Beginning of the month, we've got the Page of Wands, we've got the Eight of Pentacles, and we've got the Nine of Cups. And this is telling me here that you might be working towards something, definitely wanting something here. With the Nine of Cups, this is the Wish card. So there's something that you're wishing for, maybe you're trying to manifest, just like I said before, but definitely working towards this manifestation. So you might be daydreaming, which definitely makes sense with the Unknown card. And please remember, these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But definitely wishing for something here, uh, whatever that is. Let me know in the comments below, what are you wishing for this month? In the middle of the month here, we've got the Five of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands and the Magician. So what they're saying here is that whatever you're wishing for, and this is the manifestation card, okay? This is the manifestation card. This is also... Um, like a player too in relationships. So if this resonates, I'm going to read this in two different ways. But whatever you're trying to wish for, it comes with an ending. The Ten of Wands is about you you have to let go of a burden that you're carrying. And with this magician coming out here and with the Five of Pentacles before this, this is going to tell me that you might be in a toxic relationship. Now it could be romantic, it could be friendship. But what has to happen is that you're carrying a burden for somebody else. So you might be with somebody that is, you're holding on to the relationship because you feel as though you feel bad for that person. Maybe something happened in their life. Maybe they're an alcoholic. Maybe they're a drug addict. Maybe they had, they had lost somebody. Um, it really doesn't matter what happened, but you're holding on to the relationship because you feel bad for leaving. And that's what I'm getting here with this card. And in order for you to get the wish that you want, you've got to let it go because seriously, this is a very precise message. The Nine of Pentacles comes at the end of the month here, and this is your independent card. This is your single card. So for some of you here, and I'll read this a different way for those that are already single, but again, this could be friendship. This could be family members. It doesn't have to be romantic, but there's a relationship, even like your parents they're getting. For some of you, it's like you're trying to please your parents. You're trying to hold on to what they want for you, and you're trying to live your life by the way that they want you to, but this is no good for you. Because it's not going to get you any closer to your wish when you're living your life based around what other people expect or want from you. So it's time to let go. It's time to put the burden down that you're carrying for somebody else. It is their responsibility to for their lives. It's not your responsibility to make other people happy. It's your responsibility to make yourself happy and surround yourself with the people that make you happy as well. And that's not being selfish. And I know it sounds selfish, but... You still have an open heart with that, except that you're not draining your energy or lowering your vibration by sticking around with the people that are already lowering your vibration. Does that make sense? Let me know. But in the at the end of the month here, you've got the Nine of Pentacles, which is your independent card. You've got the Justice and you've got the Three of Swords. 
And I'm going to tell you that this is going to break your heart. Like it's going to break your heart because it could have been a long-term friendship or relationship, but you know, and listen to that intuition because they're strongly telling me like, you already know this. You're scared to do it. You're scared to pull the plug. You're scared to cut the cord. Um, I have a cutting cords meditation on my website. If you want to check that out, it's in the description box. But definitely um, there's something that you're fearful here. And it might be that you might think you're a bad person. It might be that you're so scared of hurting this other person. But this other person also has a lesson to be learned. And if you're, if you're enabling them and if you are taking their burden on for them, they're not going to learn the lesson that they're here to learn. And we've got the four of wands here, which is recharge your hopes. This situation, this burden that you're carrying for somebody else, this is not helping you in any way, okay? It's actually going the opposite way. And there needs to be a recharge here. You need to let go of the things that are lowering that vibration. So this wish that you want, whatever you're trying to manifest here, you know, the lower your vibration is, the more that manifest is not, you're not ready for it. So therefore, you've got to get yourself um, in a higher vibrational state. And that's not all about manifestation. I don't want you to think that you just got to be in high vibe in order to manifest. I'm not saying that. But whatever this wish is you're wishing for, it will not come until you're ready to let go and you actually do let go of what's holding you back. And they're making me feel like your hands are tied, like you're holding the, your own self back, okay? Because you're scared of this broken heart. You're scared of either breaking your heart. You're scared of breaking other people's heart. And I, I work with, you know, codependent women. And this is very, very common where they would rather suffer themselves than have someone else suffer. Even though you're miserable, it's like you don't want to make somebody else miserable. And they're telling me, I need another card. There's, okay, maybe it's this deck. Sorry, they're, they're just making me feel like I need another card here um, in the middle. But, um... You, you don't have to suffer yourself so that other people don't. It is their choice what they do with their lives. Yeah, the nine of wands. So this is about standing your ground, being empowered, um, doesn't make you a bad person. I really want to get that clear here. Does not make you a bad person to do what you want to do, even though it hurts somebody else. Because this is the thing. You are not intentionally trying to hurt them. Very big distinction there. You're not purposely trying to hurt somebody. You're only trying to do what is best for you. And I will tell you that whatever's best for you is best for them. Even though it might not feel like it in the very beginning. But it's best for both of you. Because when you both are in a relationship like that where one person feels sorry for the other, it's not any kind of relationship to be in. And one person is holding the burden for the other. That, I mean, think about it the opposite way. Would you want someone to stay with you because they feel sorry for you or because they just don't want to hurt you, but they really don't want to be there? Like, think about that. All right. Um, this is the Soul Truth deck here. So how can I surrender even more in this moment? I love the word surrender. Surrender is about letting go. Surrender is about not trying to force things anymore. So how can I surrender even more in this moment? And the back of the card says, it is essential to have clear, strong intentions of what we desire, but it's equally important for us to detach from the outcome. It's time to surrender. Let the universe have some breathing room to work. Let go of the wheel and trust so deeply that your trust turns into gratitude for what you cannot see yet, but you know it's coming. Today's soul action. Know this so deeply that your soul vibrates. You are not alone. Your life has purpose, and the more you surrender, the more God can produce miracles in your life. Today's mantra, I surrender, I accept all that I cannot change, I release the outcome, and I joyfully trust the process. Love that. So go back and listen to that one again. But how can I surrender even more in this moment? So how can you let go? How can you let go of holding on to something that you are not happy in? And this could even resonate with work. It can re resonate in any way that you see resonate with. But you're holding on to something because you don't want to disappoint or upset somebody else. Um, that can definitely resonate with work for some of you. Where you don't want to let your boss down. How are they going to find somebody else? Right? There's all these different things that can come out with that. But if you're ready to manifest what you want to wish here, what this wish is, and with this magician card, which is a manifestation card, 
um, join me in my course, Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance, where it's probably about 12 modules that you get. It's probably over 50 videos that you're going to get along with energy healing that really helps you let go of these feelings of letting these, you know, sticking around even though you're suffering, letting go of the beliefs that come along with that, letting go of the energy in your past that's been stuck with that, that makes you stick around. So if you're interested in joining that and getting the early bird pricing, November 1st, it stops. Um, so therefore you can check that out in the description box or in the comments below. I want to wish you luck with this. This is a really good thing because this is the clarity month for you. This is, you got the unknown card, right? It's like, you don't know what the hell you're doing. And it's because you don't have clarity because someone else is kind of overruling that clarity for you because you don't want to hurt them. You don't want to disappoint them. And when you're doing something for somebody else, which again, you're suffering inside, of course, you're going to be confused. Of course, you're going to be burnt out. There's going to be a lot of things that come along with that, but it's time to be your independent. What do you need in your life? What is going to make you happy? All right. Think about that and also think about how you can surrender even more in this moment. And I hope that resonates with you. Go ahead and make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And I just want to say much love to all of you and I will see you next month. Bye.